Five days and counting till the total eclipse of the sun. The moon will soak up the closest star we have to Earth, pretty much all of it, and it will be visible over a wide swath of North America. Now, people will experience it in a variety of ways, yeah. even those who are unable to see. That's right. If you are visually impaired, you can still experience this rare event. Explaining how, here's Eyewitness News reporter Michelle charles -Rell. In 2017, I just distinctly remember feeling really left out. Min Ha admits feeling a little resentful seven years ago when people across the United States got to experience the total solar eclipse. But now, thanks to technology and a team at Harvard, Min and other members of the visually impaired community are actually excited for this eclipse. Just because a person can't see doesn't mean they can't uh, do astronomy. Allison Barela leads the Harvard team that built a machine that will allow the blind to experience Monday's celestial event. We developed a device called the Light Sound that essentially takes light and converts it to sound as a tool for the blind and visually impaired. When the Light Sound interprets the light from the eclipse, it will use different instruments to play different phases. For example, when the light is at its brightest, the device will play a flute. As the sun is changing, this would be like the bright light of the sun. And then as it starts to dim, it goes away and the sound kind of gets lower. And then the shadow comes in and it gets even lower and starts clicking. It's going to be inclusive and having any technology that makes it possible for us to have an experience, an actual experience rather than somebody simply describing it to us is always fantastic. I'm very excited about it. I'm definitely gonna be a part of it this year. As sighted people watch it happen, she and others will hear the eclipse at exactly the same time. Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.